Hello, I'm Norman Clark with Norman Clark Painting. Today I'm going to show you the correct way to paint an exterior wall. The tools that we will need today will be a drop cloth, a five-in-one painter's knife, a bucket for paint, a small roller and a, a small two and a half inch brush, and maybe a corking gun if we find any cracks, and also a roll of blue masking tape. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to do is to put our drop cloth down to protect this beautiful brickwork that the homeowner has. Once this is covered, then we also want to protect this beautiful French door, and the French door molding. So we'll take our masking tape, nice two inch blue. Blue, by the way, is a non, it's very low stick, so it protects delicate items like woodwork. So we stretch the tape out, carefully putting it over the wood. Also, we see a piece of brick down here, we want to cover that as well. Our area is now ready to paint. So we take our, br our brush and bucket. Okay. Also, we, uh, you might want to find yourself an old painter's brush, which is trash, but it, it makes a good dusting brush to clear any dirt and debris. You'll find most painters, painters will have some kind of an old brush. Just clean off the area before you paint. We dab our brush. So we have paint on our brush. And now we're ready to paint. So we're, go we're going to cut in the wall first. And then we'll roll the wall out with this roller. This is only a small area, so we're doing a small touch-up. So we don't need a, a huge roller. For a larger area, obviously, you will need a larger roller. First of all, I'm going to cut in the woodwork. Very carefully of the paintbrush. This will give us a nice straight line with which to work with. There you go. And again, with the roller, once we're loaded with paint, we want to have enough paint that there is actually paint on the roller, but you don't want it dripping off. So we're going to roll it in a diagonal way like this, and then we'll roll it this way, just to spread the paint out, and then we'll do a final roll. So here we go. Yeah, and again, going the other direction, that spreads our paint out nicely. And then we'll lay it off upside like this. Some tips I'd like to give you. I think the first tip to remember when you're painting an exterior, especially the exterior of your home, is safety. Um, if, you, if, you have, if you have a house that's maybe a, above a story, you might want to consider hiring a professional, but ladder safety is the number one cause of accidents with painters. So please, whenever you use a ladder, please observe all safety regulations concerning that piece of equipment. Uh, another thing regarding um, ex painting exteriors, you might want to consider how the sun moves. So if, for instance, in the morning, the sun is on one section of the house, but not on the other, but in the afternoon, the sun is actually on the other side and not in the front, for instance, think about doing the other side first where the sun isn't and then doing the, the area that has the sun in the morning in the afternoon. That way you don't make it such an, an ordeal to do it by yourself. Thank you, this is Norman Clark with Norman Clark Painting showing you the correct way to paint an exterior wall of your house. 